The village is empty, Lord de Mafra. <laughs> Hardly worth drawing our blades. Excellent, Bardois. And the church? Unspoiled. It's just over that way, my lord. Well, what do we have here? A Templar? Did you get lost on your way to the Crusade, noble boy? Templars? Ha! Huh. They're priests with pretty tunics. I bet he wields that sword no better than a farmer. Still think Templars are priests and farmers? I'll consider this training for the Crusades. This Templar's blade is mightier than five of yours. Denz is a talented swordsman who has never let fear invest him in a fight. Perhaps that stems from the burden he bears. The Templar's curse. It is a terrible power that in the coming days will shape his future. Denz de Bell, I have come to take you. You again. Will you never leave me in peace? Be gone, Wraith! Damned one, I will have you follow me to hell. Come closer, and we'll see! Phantasmas! Bail Phantasmas! I am nothing as simple as a phantom. You have spilled blood. It is time to atone for your sins, and I have come to collect. You're... you're just a madman. It's going to stop, just like the other times. I will need to find somewhere to come to my senses. Not now. It is not my time yet. If I take lives, I do so for justice. <laughs> to struggle is futile. I am death. I am everywhere. I am always. When I am sent to claim his soul in his name, I take it. None escape. Unfortunately for you, I know where my soul will be out of reach. I told you already. My time hasn't come yet. This is hallowed ground, a threshold you cannot cross. You will not take me this day, O oh Death. I told you, I am everywhere. I am always. Time matters not. One day, you won't escape me. I need only one moment to claim your soul. It's not my time. At the very least, I have a safe place to spend the night. It's only a nightmare. Just a nightmare. But a realistic nightmare. But did I really fall asleep in the church? My brother's ill deeds forced my son from his home into the life of a wanderer. 
He offered his blade to whomever could provide enough coin for him to eke out a meager living. From feud to skirmish, from brawl to duel, he found himself in the service of Boniface de Montferrat. In the summer of 1199, this lord's soldiers laid siege to the castle of Byron, where an old friend dwelt. Bagouin de Flandre, commander of Boniface's army. Their collusion is a dangerous one, and my son has the misfortune of serving under his command. We've tarried beneath the walls of these cowards for thirty days. But no more! Today I want to see Martin Dalgais on his knees! I want his doors raised, his coffers looted, and his men slaughtered! Mercenaries! Time to earn your pay, dogs. On this night, you will either feast until dawn, or the crows and worms will feast on your rotting carcasses. It matters little to me. This is the final hour! My lord, all of our assaults have failed! It's the portcullis! It's, it's too strong, even for the ram! We have to set it ablaze first, or damage it somehow! Aye, my lord. They rain arrows on us like a pissing cow! We can't get close enough! Enough of your whimpering. These mantlets will shield you from the arrows. Get close enough, then use the saltpeter bags to burn down the portcullis. The battering ram can finish the job, got it? Why do we even risk our arses to destroy a portcullis when we could just use the trebuchets to destroy the walls, huh? Because Boniface de Montferrat, the man funding your miserable lives, wants the castle unscathed. And I intend to offer it to him that way. Now go! You two, get on the first madlet. You two there, on the second! Spaniard! You with the bail on the third! The bail? Such a pretty name for a mercenary. Can he even lift a sword? That he can. As for his name, perhaps he fashions himself a hero. But enough talk. Six men on the battering ram. You'll follow from behind the matlets. Now go! Victory or death! Listen close, Spaniard. We only push between arrow volleys. As soon as we see arrows, stop and pray that nothing penetrates this maggot wood. Got it? Hey, hero boy. I don't feel like dying any more than you do. Forward! You're so What is that smell? Are you giving in to fear, the bear? The men were given orders to... Uh... Relieve themselves on the mantlets before we use them. Curse you, Francesis. Did you really win wars with stupid orders like that? We'll be glad for it soon enough. The wet hides protect the wood from flaming arrows. You don't want to end up roasted like a heretic on a stake, do you? Take cover! Now's our chance. Let's go! <laughs> they think they can kill Esteban Noviembre. You talk too much, Spaniard. You should save your strength. Let's move, Spaniard. Relax, hombre. Stick with me, or harm will come to you. Oh, is that so? I didn't tell you. I was born under a lucky star. A lucky star? <laughs> I'll believe it when it comes down and wields my sword. Take cover! 